Oz-ians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are looking at another musical figurine. This time, it is from the San Francisco Music Box Company. This hourglass water globe was originally produced by the San Francisco Music Box Company. It originally retailed for $149.98 US dollars. The figurine comes packaged in a medium-sized cardboard box. Like most Wizard of Oz memorabilia produced during this time, this one used the classic pink and white striped boxes. The box features a sticker that indicates which figurine is in the box. Opening the box reveals the inner styrofoam box containing the water globe. The figurine measures about 10 and a half inches tall and is about six and a half inches wide. It is made of resin. We'll first look at the top of the figurine. The top features the Wizard of Oz logo in the middle with different objects representing Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion with the yellow brick road behind them. The base of the hourglass features different parts of the Land of Oz. And these are Munchkin Land, the Corn Field, the Poppy Field, the Emerald City, the Haunted Forest, and lastly, the Witch's Castle. And on the inside of the hourglass, we have the Wicked Witch flying on her broom on the top with Dorothy and company on the bottom. And as I said before, this is a water globe. It is not a working hourglass. So don't expect to tell time with this hourglass or pull this sucker out when you have some Oz friends around just to tell them, this is how much longer you've got to be alive. Yeah, I can see you definitely are gonna have friends sticking around after you say that one. The trees from the haunted forest are the supports for the hourglass. What I really love about this particular piece is that there's something interesting to look at from every angle. And if you have a cabinet that doesn't have a back to it and it's completely open on all four sides, this would be a perfect piece to stick in that cabinet, especially if that cabinet was in the middle of a room, so that you could see all the way around the hourglass. And before we forget, this is also a music box. To turn on the music box, the key is located on the bottom. This figurine plays We Are Off to See the Wizard. And I don't mind that song, of course, but it is a little bit odd since the theming of it is a little bit heavy on the Haunted Forest. It's too bad that they don't have the Jitterbug instead. That'd be kind of cool to have that in the music box. And actually, are there any music boxes that have the Jitterbug as a song? Comment down below, if you know. Yeah, I'd like to know that. And as with all water globes, something to watch out for is hmm, the water on the inside of the globe. Some of these, the water has evaporated out, and some of them, the water is cloudy. So. If you want to pick this hourglass up for yourself, that's definitely something to keep an eye out for. I picked up this hourglass a good while ago, probably around 10 years ago, if I was to guess, and I got a pretty good price on it. And this appears to be another piece from the San Francisco Music Box Company that also sold very well back in the day. And thankfully, isn't that hard to find. I've seen this hourglass sell anywhere between $75 to $150. So keep your eyes peeled. You just might be able to pick up this hourglass still for under the original retail price. Do you collect San Francisco Music Box Company? Music boxes, water globes, figurines? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. 
New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, Happy Halloween!